keep these legends coming through. We in it, motherfucker. Today is a little different, though. This is a little. This was real special today, cause this little nigga used to skip school. Hey now. Come and got them and hang out. But maybe two weeks in the studio with my ass. Hey now. Well, I was trying to be Dr. Dre and goddamn it, two and a lot of other motherfuckers at the same time. And producing other motherfuckers. But when he gone, I shut it down. Let him get his work in. We did his first mixtape. Goddamn it. First time I ever heard him spit, I was like, oh nah, it's a rap. You feel what I'm saying? And ever since that day, it's been murder. It's a good history, man. I don't know, don't, 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 don't know our history. You know, like, nah. Like how deep it gets. It gets, it gets deep. It's real deep, man. So it's back, man. So today, you know, we giving some gigantic flowers. You know what I'm saying? For the push, for the whole, hey, the whole thing this nigga done done. The whole career. Hey, you might not heard something from him in the last year or two, but you will. He got shit stopped and stopped and stopped and stopped. I ain't dropped nothing in there for years. Maybe four, okay. Hey, it's been a minute. Yeah, but guess what, though? Legends never die. So with all that said, okay, shit then. today, we got shit. my little bro, head honcho on this motherfucking mic. Talk no shit. 615, Lil Murder, Young <laughs> Murder, whatever you want to talk about. You feel me? Snap it up from me. Strong mind, E and T. We in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Self entrepreneur, pushed his own line. You know, it was a part of a <coughs> major movement at one time. You know, six one five cash with records, but always was an independent nigga himself, pushing his own line from a young nigga. Some y'all niggas gotta understand, making his own bankroll, getting his own clothes pressed up. You know what I'm saying? Moving around, city to city, state to state, catching flights. Dropping motherfucking verses with the legends. Some niggas like 50, yeah, yo, Banks. He said I did. Don't be mad at me, man. Goddamn. He just telling y'all. I ain't saying, saying that. BG, goddamn it, young buck. You know, you done held his own with all these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? And the list goes on. So, without further ado, man, Lil Murder, man, is in the motherfucking building today. What it do, man? What it Shit. do? Authentic. Woo! Proud to be on. You know, a real authentic platform, you know what I mean? One of the, the best uh, platforms that Nashville has to offer. Yeah. And, you know, I think, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, man. Wouldn't have no other way. I ain't done interviews, no nothing, bro. Man, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't have no other way, man. It's home. Come it's on. It's home for me. It's always, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so for the people who don't know, man, we're going we're gonna to start from the top. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. How, how you even, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did you know you had a talent? For writing, you know what I'm saying, and just rap as a whole. Um, I don't know writing. I kind of been a writer, you know what I'm saying, just as a kid. But of okay. course, like when it came to the music, uh, I never really wanted to be no rapper. I know. You know what I'm mean. saying, like, like around the time when me and you link, that's when the you know rap shit was really like kicking off for me. But like. Okay. Music, me and my uh first time I ever recorded a song, me and Lil Sleep, shout out to Lil Sleep. Shout out to Sleep. Uh, I was over Lil Sleep House, and uh, we recorded some shit on the computer mic. Okay. Some uh, this this was started me to feel like I can do this shit, and we did like two songs. Okay. And uh, my nigga Lil Sleep Mob was out there too. Shout him out. And we did like two songs, and goddamn it, I'm. You know, we take them to the, you know, let the motherfuckers hear them in the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we ain't serious or nothing. Yeah. And niggas was going crazy about doing <laughs> songs. Niggas was looking for me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Hell yeah. These two songs we recorded on the computer mic. Nigga named Trail. Okay. I'll take your retainer out, man. Come on. Okay. We just signed it up. But, um, nigga from the hood named Trail. He, uh, see, you know, he was connected with CEO. I can't talk to you. Like you regular, cause you know a lot of the shit I'm but saying. You're talking to them, yeah, let so them know. Guy named Trill okay. from the hood. I'm from my south too, so I'm not yes, sir. From the hood. Uh, shout out to the south side, west side too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Forty block, that's my hood too. Yes, sir. But uh, Trill had heard the shit. We were looking for me. Okay. So he found ran into him in the hood, and his cousin CEO had ran Strike One at the time. Okay. You know Chris Kane, all yeah, that, yeah. Strike One and all. Oh yeah. And she took me out there. 
off that little computer mic CD. I hadn't even got to do nothing yet for real. Yeah. Cause I don't even know how to rap. I ain't even got no real practice yet. Took a nigga out there. And I think it might have been like my first day out that bitch, nigga. I did a song. First or second day. Okay. I think that's when I started taking it serious. Like, okay. I can do this shit. Yeah. Like, the first song I done in Strike One, Chris Kane put it on that dug out. First fucking song I ever okay. done in that motherfucker. Okay. Like, and it was okay. just fresh off the computer mic shit. I ain't even rapping yet. I'm like, damn, they like this. You know, it was cool to me. Yeah. I mean, it was all right. You know, I feel like I could do better <laughs> shit. But I'm like, damn. But, uh, yeah, that's. I think that's what kicked it off right there. I mean, I think we got similar beginnings because in 99, my first professional verse this actually came out was on Chris Kane, Fallen Angel. That's crazy. It was on the Strike One anthem. That's crazy. Me and, me and OIL. And I, thought, and I kind of was done with Strike One around that time. Not done, but, you know, I was... Doing what I was doing at yeah. that time, and um, but I remember hearing, yeah, uh, Lamarda, man, Lamarda out there with Chris Kane. Even then, yeah, yeah, I remember hearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's 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 a heavy goddamn intro to the game. Shout out to Chris Kane. Shout out to Chris, man. I Chris, said, hey, hey, for y'all man, for y'all artists that don't know, Chris Kane, man, dug out and shit. Chris Kane was dope. That's nigga. crazy, man. That nigga was a producer, nigga. That yeah. nigga was one of the hardest rappers, nigga. That yeah. nigga knew how to put together some shit. So shout out to Chris Kane. But yeah, shout out to Trev too, man. They, they got me a little star. And then, you know, that was the real studio. This was for y'all, y'all. Oh, yeah. This was the eight that, like, yeah. it wasn't no uh, punch me in. Mm -mm. Ain't no, wasn't no fucking such thing. So, you know, I'm going in the studio, all these gangsters and shit. And then I couldn't come in there saying and shit. And I just knock <laughs> nobody or nothing what's going no, on. No, no, no. It was a totally different vibe then. Like, you had, you, nigga, yeah. you had to be coming with it. Niggas wasn't even respecting you. you they didn't even know you were from the hood. And yeah. You couldn't even come to the studio. Yeah. So, you know, you had to come with it. And it was, like I said, it was 8 back. So, when I recorded, I had to record each hook and the verses in one take. Crazy. One take. It ain't no stop. Let me redo oh it, nigga. God. You gotta say the hook. Yes, you gotta know everything, bro. You gotta yeah. say the hook. Go right into your verse. Say the hook again. Go right into your verse. Say the hook again. <laughs> like it ain't no stop. And then you know that ain't that shit was so expensive. You yeah. couldn't waste none of it. Oh, like yeah. even if you fucked up, you gotta keep going because they done already yeah. start recording on that shit. So yeah, that was different. Like you know, like I, I thought that's how it went. You know. Okay. So I always came try to come prepare. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? Because you got to be ready. Yeah. So now niggas just yeah. going to the studio, you, you, you wasting a whole lot of time. time you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we, we had to come prepared because you get out here, the folks ain't got time for you. You talking about you got to write a verse. Mm -mm. Man, get the fuck on. Man, <laughs> 10 niggas in here, man. Right? These boys are ready. Yeah, they yeah. ain't home. We you know talk what I'm saying? They ain't ready. So, you know, it don't get, it's told. They, they, got, they got it made nowadays. Like, you just going to punch in. I mean, you know, I, I got some of that time too. Like yeah. I don't act like I'm old. You know, I still live in the punching era when I was rapping. But yeah. it's way, it shit is easy, bro. Like you can really get the weight a certain way you want to say shit perfect. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you just had to, you had to go with that shit. That shit was raw back then. Like yeah, you always came with your verse on the paper, and you would. You didn't, you didn't accept no punching. Even when we uh moved transitioned to Pro Tools, you know what I'm saying? You really didn't accept no 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 punching. Cause that was it wasn't how I came in the game. So it was, you know what I'm saying? Didn't yeah. feel like that was right. Yeah. Even if it, it now me knowing punching in is better. Right. It's because you can perfect a, a line. Right. A line at right. a time. But the way I came in, I, I didn't think it was right. I wanna like, nah, oh, let me see it because it had to flow as a whole rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, like I said, you can punch some shit in, but it still might not just flow. Yeah. The only thing about punching in is breaths. If you if you don't have the breath to get that word in how you want to, yeah. then you know, that's how I feel about it. Breaths too, I learned that all come in writing. That's all in your yeah. writing. Like you yeah. gotta know how to write and lead breath. Yeah. That come with when you when you put too many words in a yeah, bar. Take some out. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is. You gotta you gotta write and get breath. So it's like so you was writing and perform perfecting performing it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You was performing it. Like you 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 mastered that part too. Cause like I had to I'm sitting at home writing this shit and shit and I'm saying it over five, six times, twenty yeah. times, twenty <laughs> times, twenty yeah. times. Yeah. I now I know it. I don't got to fold the paper and put it in my pocket and I'm testing myself. Yeah. I'm trying to see it. You know what I'm saying? You 
know, that's what I think helped me to not sound like I was like reading. Yeah, and that's the thing saying? too. That's the thing about performing. Can you perform it and not sound like you're reading it? Yeah, yeah. So it was. You had a game. You definitely had a game. You know what I'm saying? But but you got to think though, like we was still. It was still an art. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. Young yeah. Jesus ain't came yet. Nah, nah. We we Jesus we changed the game single handedly. Now I say it throughout all the time. Like Jesus made any dope boy feel like he can do that too. Yeah. And we was at the studio and you brought that first Jeezy up there. Like, you ain't heard it yet? Like, no. Nobody, bro. And we banged that motherfucker. White boy David got me on that. White boy David. Shout out to White boy David. He just, he just moved uh, Phoenix. Yeah, okay. I was trying to get some shit going. But uh, the nigga had all the burnt CDs. Nigga, I used to have everything months and years before it ever came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Cyber King. Yeah. That nigga had me on that little J. <laughs> it wasn't Jeezy. He had me on a little J. Little J. Uh, uh, come come shot with me. Come shot with me. Yeah. I, I I wasn't into it as much, but when that nigga had that put out fucking Trap or Die, it might have been something even before Trap or Die. Trap or Die? Nah, it was Let's Get It. He had some, he put out a Let's Get It shit okay. before that. Okay. Now it's got a little more familiar. But Trap or Die, I'm trying to put my cousin up on Trap or Die. Yeah. Like, ooh, you know, everybody was still in the rap. You, ooh, T.I. had the game on lock. Yeah, T.I. So T- you had to been spitting. Yeah, yeah. it was. Y'all yeah. was around time trap music and all that shit that came out maybe a year or two prior. So you really had to, who was in the rapper? You know, Ludacris now. Yeah. You had to be spitting. So I'm trying to let them niggas hit Jesus. They're like, man, what is this boy? So I'm like, homie, listen to him. <laughs> this is all the shit I've seen y'all do with me. Those niggas, he paints a picture. I ain't never heard a rapper paint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah. nigga, listen to this shit. Yeah. So for me, that done it. Like, he didn't have to be able to rap. He was the first time, too, for me when I was like, you know, every like it is what it is. Every right. artist not gonna be the same, man. Like you gotta right, accept right. shit for if it's raw and and you ain't seen nothing like it and it's it's dope. Yeah, let it be dope, bro. Don't get yeah. comparing it to this motherfucker. Yeah, this nah, motherfucker. Nah, it is what it is. You gotta bro. take you know what, what you saying? take yeah. from certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want everybody to sound. Cause some niggas got the rapping part, but their career man ain't nothing. Yeah. Like for me, it's a total package. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah. You still gotta, you gotta know how to talk to. Like that's why I'm glad I ain't drunk or lit yet. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I'm 35. Yeah. I still be turn up and get lit, but I still yeah. gotta know how to talk. You yeah. know, yeah. In, in a certain way too. You know what I mean? Nah, that's real. That's real. That's that's part of uh being professional in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just cause yeah. you rap good and you got views and blah, blah, blah. It ain't got nothing to do with professionalism. You know what I'm saying? Waking up early, going to do radio. You know what I'm saying? You know about this shit? You know what I'm saying? Cause a motherfucker might like what they see, man. You know, but then they find out how old you is. Like, man, bullshit, <laughs> dog. Like, you're 25. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, you thinking it's cool. You thinking you, but you got yeah. niggas that... Nigga might be a little younger than you, got a whole lot going on. Yeah. Man, you just focus on the little boy part of shit. Yeah, that's nah, you gotta let a nigga know I ain't yeah. just on that part. Yeah. Not the little boy part. It yeah. just, nah. And that's and that's what I've been trying to tell like some of the artists, like, don't focus on trying to be the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean do I mean like, like not only that. Hustle you gotta yeah, hustle yeah, shit. Yeah, it's yeah. not just a it ain't just about bars and shit like it that. Ain't, it's, so, it's so not about bars. Bro. It's so easy, it's just a vibe now. It really ain't, now, now, if you right, it really ain't about best rapper type. Even with the music, it's just like a, can you make a good song? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it, bro. It took the soul out of it. <laughs> nah. Can you make a good song? Nah, there's some souls still in it, man, but it just, it's just totally different. But, you know, you mm-hmm. came in, you came in with a motherfucking vengeance and, uh, the first, the first young murder was it mob status? Yeah, I did most of that shit up your Yeah, we did the first, the first mix. Well, we did most of the first mixtape. I think I did. And the rest I did White Boy Dave House. White Boy Dave House in his closet and on the fucking computer mic. I think I produced a couple of them. Hey, hey, that one that look. I learned something over Sleep House. Mm. Got that guy White Boy Dave House. You got a computer mic? Watch this. I know how to do something. <laughs> That's what they my first oh, boy. He'll record himself. He learned. He took off hey. easy. He know. He know. Tommy, that nigga know how to do this shit. I mean, let's, let's see. At certain points of a nigga life, we 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 thought being cool was being dumb. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, yeah, ain't nothing like, cool about no dumb. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I 
I heard Stalito say something in the interview. I'm giving his props. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. years ago, you know, and we was I was still a little more younger minded. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they were like, I'm not dumb, so I'm not gonna act dumb. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm like, well, I'ma dumb myself down to fit in. <laughs> While I insult my own intelligence. intelligence. Nigga, yeah. I ain't no dumb at. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, so so me not being dumb don't take nothing away from my coolness. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga, being you is cool. I don't give a fuck who you is, how you do it, yeah. what you do. If you being yourself and you got some 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 motion with that shit, yeah. man, that's cool. And that's how the world kind of shifted to, like, independency. You know what I'm saying? Owning your own shit. Being your, you know what I'm saying? Being yourself and, and, and you know, working, you got to work. But if you can be an entrepreneur, you need to do that shit. Cause the way the world going, man, you gonna have to robots taking over shit, taking over jobs, and it's just a lot of Corona. It's a lot of shit in the game. So the best advice I can give a nigga is to go all the way independent. You know what I'm saying? Entrepreneurship, ownership. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I got a four. We going further though. I gotta get flu his flowers. Ah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying you just ain't being here interviewing niggas like you know just gonna get me mad. <laughs> flu been doing this shit for a long time, dude. Yeah, I studied. I was studying a long time, like, yeah. and yeah. I don't know little level. This yeah. nigga ain't put out nothing, nigga. When I first shit he putting out was album packaged up, like the real people shit with the inserts. Nigga had the stickers to go on the outside of it, posters. This the first shit I seen dude put out. What was that? New one, long time ago. We went to Florida with that shit. No, that was. Yeah, 36 Nigga, we went to Florida with that yeah, shit. Panama. Panama, you want to go with your boy Paper Man? Paper Man, Mob State. Mob, Mob State. State. Mob State. Yeah, that that shit, shit was man. perfect. <laughs> Y'all had Mob State packaged, nigga. Nigga, they, nigga, when we went to down there on the beach and shit, them folks Ooh. didn't know how to take a nigga nothing but as a star. Yeah. This was what, 15 years ago? It was like 04. It came out 04, so definitely it was 03 when we was working on it. And we did the Bangor compilation. You was on a couple of those joints too. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Well, Flu, man, like I said, man, Flu been at this shit through like three three generations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he had the old, he, he, he was a young nigga like me in that generation. And then it was like his generation of added a little more mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, in between. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. now it's the new shit. Yeah. And a nigga still relevant. Like a nigga still fresh. Like that's and like a, that's a big that's a, that's big. Yeah, I feel like it just really I feel like me personally, I feel like the last four or five years in the music, my artistry really took it went up. Like from 35 and up. Like I've been like I feel like I've been putting out a lot of crazy music, like great music, not just yeah. rapping. You know what I'm saying? Just music. You know what I'm saying? So Damn, for you to say that, see, man, I'm really you make me go out to get deep back in my bag. Yeah, before rap was 2016, so that was I was 35 then, so it's like I was just getting into my bag. So, and now it's just so flawless. It's just like damn, this shit like water. <laughs> yeah. But we on the biggest shit, man, and um, you know, that's a big salute, man, for murder, man, because we definitely been in the trenches with this shit for a minute. Yeah, man, so, um, Mob Status, recorded that shit up in the first green room. You got them to hit the streets and move them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, <laughs> mob Status, I pressed the Guess how I did that shit? I, uh, nigga, I got them pressed. We did the CDs ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we yeah. had about six, seven, I'm going to put the thing going down. <laughs> yeah. Order some little print up. Lido, Lido gave me some couple hundred to buy to get the inserts. Okay. You know, I was still a young nigga. I about what, 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. Nigga wasn't getting a whole lot of money. Yeah. God damn it, nigga didn't work that shit. Nigga, we went out. Nigga, I went to the club with Lido that first night. We went to Club Dream. What was that on the back side of the river? Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. That, like it was a was dream. It? The dream, yeah, Club Dream. Like I was just. Some shit. Something like that. Yeah, I think I was too young to get in there. Something like Lido used to get me in all the fucking clubs. Shout out to Lido. <laughs> what the fuck? But oh, we, yeah. We won that bitch first night, nigga. We sold like, I think we sold like the whole, a whole hundred. We took a hundred in that bitch. Sold all of them. Left out that whole six hundred. Ooh. I said, oh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. That, that 
talking about these. I, I got I got little sparks though. Early. Yeah. Like yeah. Chris Kane shit spark. Quick yeah. Early spark. Yeah. So the nigga put something out saying the instant return. Like nigga just hustling and shit. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, this is a hustle game. But the product gotta be good. That's the key. My product wasn't even that good then, you know what I'm saying? Mainly because of the recording and shit. Though. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, kind of quality. Yeah, the quality. You know what I'm saying? Like, the quality was shitty. I'm gonna keep it. Our shit was a little better. The, the, the shit I did up yours, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was sure. getting there. Yeah, yeah. The shit I did up your shit, at least it was Pro Tools. Yeah, we was on Pro Tools. But that Chris Kane shit was not Pro Tools. This was pre Pro Tools. It was recording. So a lot of niggas don't even know how much it really cost to really get in the studio at that time. So you went from 8 at, then you had 1680, 1880, recorded into that big board, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well when, when, when you make a beat, you gotta goddamn let that motherfucker go five minutes. Each sound gotta go five minutes, as long as you want the song, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you gotta do it maybe one sound at a time. You know what I'm saying? So if a beat had 15 sounds in it, you had to wait that long. Oh, moment. yeah, I think that, oh, yeah. But the, yeah, and then until you can loop it. Until you, until you, you can it. loop it, yeah. yeah. And so when I went to Tim Hill, he used to program his beats already in the MPC, so it's already in sequence on how you go rap. Ah, oh, for real. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But yeah. How many? How many? How many bars can you set it? However you want to. Oh, for real. However you want to. So that, that was amazing. Writing. That was amazing. Like writing yeah, them. Yeah, it was. Damn. So he said, hey, "Look, look, Tim, I got three twelves. You know what I'm saying? He gonna make that motherfucker all the way out. You know what I'm saying? Just play it straight. He gonna do a two track verse." Or he'll, or if you want him to, you know what I'm saying, uh, track it out, he'll do it. But it's going to cost you 30, 45 minutes of your time. You might be paying for a nigga to track a beat out for an hour. You know, we done lost the young nigga. <laughs> we done lost him, but hey, young this is where this shit come from. That's the other problem. This is where this shit come from. It was niggas that had to really do a lot of work. So that shit was time consuming. Like, and you had to have a real bankroll, too. You wasn't just, or you had to know the people there that was going to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we here with Lil Murder, man. No well, YouTube, nigga. No, nah, I don't know YouTube, none of that shit. We gonna, we gonna go to motherfucking commercial break. We be right back. Gonna pay these bills real quick. You know what I'm saying? Authentic TV. We here. Yeah. You hear me? It's the real A1, Shane yo. I'm dog. back with another one. Thugs need love too. Now it's available on all streaming platforms. Go download that ASAP. Maybe you're just not ready. Say amen. Amen. Okay now, hallelujah. New album, On My Mind, in the streets, <laughs> this Thursday on all streaming platforms. Make sure you tune in, make sure you stream that, make sure you go to iTunes and buy that. Brand new project, Big Boy Features, Hard Licker Shawty, back from Bells of Game, Virgo, it's going crazy. Tap in, hallelujah, new album, On My Mind. New video, Spaceship, out right now. Go stream that. Go watch that on his YouTube channel. Authentic. We up. I've been chopping bricks like I know karate. Authentic TV presents The Risk, episode four. Hosted by Plug Music, Steak and Shrimp. Also introducing Real Nigga Street Corn. Out now on Authentic TV. Yeah, nah, I feel 
Oh. But uh, yeah, that 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 what that is. He might can Google it. You know what I'm saying? It might come up somewhere. Somebody selling that shit. I need to figure yeah, out yeah, they, who making yeah, that money. Yeah, yeah. Cause I still get checks from shit. I put out that weight, so somebody make something. Yeah. But yeah, so you said at the mob stairs. So where we at at the mob stairs? We that's like okay. So we about oh four born in oh five. We yeah. still yeah, recording. Well, we, we still going. We still pushing hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then. I can remember like yesterday, he was like, I ran into the fuck thing. <laughs> he said, I spit on him. I think it was a I rap got, shit. It was, yeah, buck came, yeah, we, well, I started turning up by then. You know what I'm saying? So was it a project after mob status? Right before the buck situation? Nope. So that's what I'm saying. So you was Nah, like, it was just music, you know? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We had a lot of, uh, then we had a lot of the songs music. like that. What, that after that, like the shit was sent. But I think people, people, people just had started like respecting me as a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, at that yeah. time, and, and uh, I think I started getting a little money that time I ran into the book. And uh, about so 06? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About 06. 06. Yeah. yeah. Right. I still remember the day when you said, yo, quit everything you got going. But just call. We all overseas. We all. Uh, he said, didn't call overseas. He said, we all, man. <laughs> and the killer body is what people don't know. Like, when I first, the, the music that Buck was hearing, you was on it. Like, yeah. you remember, like, that first, them first yeah. music, because some of my favorite shit was shit that we did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that'll yeah. be the shit that I sent Buck. And nigga, Buck, Buck and 50 was hearing flu out the gate. It's crazy. Out the gate, on gang, you know what I'm saying? That shit. That nigga boy keep me one day from goddamn you got slack a lot. It's a, <laughs> I, I, it was a number on that motherfucker. I ain't never seen no number like this. That motherfucker got a plus in front of us. Ooh. I said, who the fuck is this? <laughs> that nigga book, no, 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 no. Fuck like. Something like 50 said, it's on, it's on. It might be back or something like 50. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, ah. Oh. Nah, you know, nigga, 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 you know what I'm saying? And it was just look, it was just murder at that time. Though. That that situation so broad, you gonna have to really slow down. Okay. Cause it it was a lot that went on with that situation. Like, it was a lot. It was a big nah, situation. It was, it, was, like, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. And it was a it, it wasn't no quick amount of time. It was like a three yes year span. Yeah, but you was killing shit though. Um, when you started jumping on the records with them, or with just Buck, you was going dumb. This, and, and I'm getting to this. This is a little fast forward a little bit, but high seat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, the hustle don't stop. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that that movement, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, before C even came around, you was already. But C came like, C was around like, right? He right, came right, like, after right after me. Like, it was a. Uh, he came, he started coming around like the next week. It wasn't, it wasn't long. It wasn't long, nah, before C. Because so, then I think. Once he got me, he, he got the figure in for maybe, you know, somebody was in his ear about putting together a group. Okay. So he got the, I think he got the seeing that. Okay. So see will come over, play some songs. You know, we've been in that vibe before and went on. Yeah. You know, he kept popping up. So then I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So it was like, and I seen Tate, Tate interview here. Okay. You know what I mean? So. Now when I sit back and, 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 and picture it, it was like a fucking animal war zone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys think, I ain't in. Right. You know? Yeah. We feel like, I mean, me and C, we feel like Tate spot is solidified. Yeah, for sure. We don't feel like he got to compete with us. But I seen that interview, and he fit, actually felt like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I'm like, nigga, let's Tate. I'm like, yeah. we looked it up to Tate too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it wasn't never no, like a, 
But it was an animalistic thing, like a nigga had to prove that he was good enough to be around, so a nigga coming with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, but a nigga never felt like a nigga was peeing, competing with Tay for a spot. I did. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Mean. To, to me, Tay uh, was a cab bill legend too. Straight sure, up. Like, sure. at that time, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tay had done nothing wrong, nigga, for yeah. a nigga to play with Tay as far yeah. as. You feel me? His, his, his name, you know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, I yeah. nigga looked it up to Tay, too. You know what I mean? So, I didn't feel like there was a competition as far as, like, for no spot. But then I seen that end, I'm like, damn. So, even C coming around, so, you know, I'm like, okay. You bring the other rappers in. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga really had to be ready at yeah. all times. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga got to be on this shit. All that last of days old, mm -hmm. passive-aggressive ass, cool mm -hmm. shit, things, it's all good. No, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm writing raps all the time. Yeah. Holy fuck, wow, man. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm writing yeah, something yeah. in my head. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm coming up with something. Cause I cut. My hardest shit was how I want to start the verse off. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get my start off, I'm gone. But yeah. I got to come off hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So once I get my start off, I'm gone. So I was always thinking of verses and bars, man. Nigga had to. But uh, yeah, that situation was crazy, though. Like, it was, it was, it was like kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to really, you had to come with you it. You had to earn your keep. And only, you know, and, and, and seeing seeing that and seeing how that, 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 that friction was, it was really like a battle for, hey, we going with what's hot. And that's a business. It wasn't really. We going with what's, 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 what's hot. You know, that, that, that little murder hot sea shit. Y'all, y'all, let's, 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 gangster grills. DJ Drama. Now, it's it's hard to just come out as a new rapper back in and just get some respect from anybody. And we got DJ Drama yelling out, La Murder. You know, I see, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy Sauber. Like, right. respecting shit on the level of, like, yeah, these niggas going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Let's talk about that, man. I mean, like, I ain't even really met drama, bro. I've met so many people. Like, if I tell y'all everybody I've met, yeah, yeah, this definitely. might be the platform to tell you. Hey, like, it is drama. We used to be in the A, and that was drama. He put we putting together the track list. He yeah. telling he gave, he got us a, 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 a script. Yeah. Everything was scripted. These people yeah. were professionals, yeah. man. They say. telling you what to say or twit or something like this. Yeah. Like this is how the drops and skits yeah. go. Like yeah. this shit wasn't no play play. Like these folks nice. were professionals. You know what yeah. I mean? So drama like telling us what to do. He said something I, I don't remember, but he used to be giving nigga little advice and shit. Shout out to DJ Drama. Shout out to DJ Drama. You know what I'm saying? He used to be telling nigga little shit. Y'all need to be here, be here. Yeah. Like at that time, niggas wasn't here and here. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas wasn't really... Nah, niggas weren't moving around. I mean, because it was kind of like we were still pushing buck at that time. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, it and wasn't really about right. us yet. This is prior Buck the World. Yeah. It's so in the middle. It wasn't about us. You know what I'm saying? Buck the World, if Buck the World would have went crazy, 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 it was we would have came on in, like, just because yeah. just of the momentum. Yeah. Was just, like, in. instantly. Like, yeah. just, just that fast. And I think because due to it, whatever, I don't know, but Right. I don't know how that shit went, but... But, regardless, the magic has been made and will continue to be made. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing, I'm doing an interview with you guys. You guys see how we do it? You know what I'm saying? I don't like the fucking camera. You feel what I'm saying? We love the kids. We stop it off. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just leave the camera. My bad, y'all. That's all good. Um, so, yeah, Gangsta Grills. Um, shit. One, two, there was a couple of them. It wasn't just one. Uh, he did the, he did the, uh, what's the first gangster grill he did? He did the, uh, Case Dismissed. That Case was the first gangster grill yeah. I was on. Yeah. That had some shit on that. That yeah. Was, that, was got, that got us going. Yeah. Shit like that got us going, got some, got us some wings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? I cut the white bitch. Wait, no, no, that wasn't on that. That wasn't on that. That was the trap house. Welcome to the trap house. Yeah. Who's the star? Yeah. I'm kidding. Fuck with you. Well, with your job, I came off. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. hey, we see Nashville didn't see what we seen. Yeah. Like, yeah. nigga, y'all didn't see what a nigga seen. I'm popping up in New York at the G Unit office and shit, nigga. 
nigga, all do it, man. That lower banks, them, all they nigga. Man, that, uh, what they like, uh, man, that, uh, 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 piece not my pack, that's my shit. This is how they come to us. We get off the elevator. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? This what the G on the nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm up there, I'm walking in there, give me some vitamin water out of 50 dollars. Oh, what up, Phil? Nigga, we was on. Welcome to the trap house came out. Man, we was, we, we was out of here. I ain't lying, bro. We was out of here. We, we got some real motion, man. We yeah. got some real motion off that. Real deal motion. And nigga post up. I feel like I was a little baby 15 years ago. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can agree with that. Nigga could, I mean, the money probably wasn't as plentiful as it is now, but I feel like a nigga could have got that kind of motion 15 years ago with that, if, if it would have. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But yeah, Welcome to the Trap House was a. Uh, that was big. That was a big deal. Then, was then I was doing the. What's his name? Who Kid? Shout out to Who Kid. Who Kid used to put the nigga up on game and shit too. Who Kid, man. Shout out to Who Kid, one of the dope Then I was doing Who Kids and shit. The Chronic. That one, they came Chronic. Out. The Chronic. Yeah. That was one for us too. That was dope. That was a big one too. Yeah, I, th I was, we had that joint on the Welcome to the Trap House too. I think it was that Let Me Do My Thing. But you end up putting on, um, yeah, hustle don't stop. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, well, that was that, that time. Was, but that was when we was, yeah, recording that. We were getting heavy. And let me do my thing with that shit. You know, you know I, I just give a big salute to the things you called me and say, let's, let's get out of here. Let's do it. Let's do it. And, you know, and one the thing a nigga can't say about me in that situation is, like, I, I ain't give motherfuckers an opportunity or, oh, yeah. I, or I withheld the plug. I brought everybody to the plug. You did? Everybody. Yeah, yeah all, everybody that was, I'm talking about from the kids, anybody, if you was able to do something, nigga, I brought them around. I brought everybody out there, motherfucker, you know. And niggas had their shot. Yeah. No, it was, it was. Niggas had a fair shot. It was great times, you know. It was, like you say, buck the world with a deal, you know, what it's supposed to do. And man, I, think situations. Did, I think it's I think, good. I think it did good. I just I think, think it was, you know, they expected it. Better after his shit went platinum. It was a lot going on at that first time. time. Yeah, it was a lot going. It was a lot going on at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So shit, man. Gangsta Grills, DJ Drama, The Chronic, 2008. Damn, shit, what year was? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we was out of here. We was all around we traveling eight. and shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. We on Flavor Love. Flavor Love. We on motherfucking Apollo. Apollo. I can't find that footage. No, well, that's the only one. I seen it. You sent me the link in the next I day. I think they took it down. I think they took it down. They got paid for that shit. We got paid for that shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they put that out though. Nah, they, nah, it ain't. You can't put it out for free. Is what I'm saying. That shit be on the contract. So when they put it on the YouTube's and shit, you can't do it because it's. Yeah, then we can sue them. Yeah, yeah. Anytime right. yeah, this yeah. shit get beat. Everybody got to sign off. Nah, 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 they ain't send me a check. Apollo. Hell yeah. Every time they play, they send me a check. I never seen I, I, Man, shit like that. I wish I could have brought that. I still got them shit. You know, I kept them. Yeah. The motherfuckers say Warner Brothers and TV stations and shit. Yeah. And shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, the first check, I think, they sent me was like 1200 Okay. Show that motherfucker again. They sent me like nine, and they showed it again. They sent me like five. It kept going down. That's what, yeah, oh, okay. That's what, what I'm saying. Man. They didn't give a fuck. Hell they no. Got some TV check. I didn't give a fuck. That motherfucker was two hundred. Yeah, I said send it. Yeah, nah, niggas was niggas was on fire. I mean, so many parties, so many. Apollo was fun. Man. Woo! Nigga, I, I went to the Apollo with the Goldbergs, hoping that hope. I'm right here with the Goldberg, though. Shit. I rubbed the wood, the wood right here, top, a little bit gold work. I used to see these folks and just be like, like, damn, shit, they look different. Yeah. Different money really look different. Allen yeah, Iverson, yeah, yeah. man, I seen Allen Iverson nigga in the in the Magic City party, a Make It Rain party in fucking Atlanta, nigga. This nigga look different in person. Yeah, that's what my I'm talking about this nigga skin and yeah, shit look yeah, different, yeah, dude. He yeah. looked like a motherfucker. Yeah. Great.
they don't run the MTV Awards. It's over. And we we like fuck. We gotta go and find find somebody. Yeah. 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 Coming out by itself. No security. No nothing. Yeah. You know, I'm looking, I catch him, man, hey, hey, what up, man? He's like, oh, no. He's like, go, 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 get to talk to him. What's your name? Like, ask me questions and shit. He just, man, that nigga, that was so cool and so genuine, right? Yeah. Pimp C. Yeah. I got to holler at Pimp. The Pimp? I got to holler at Pimp, man. Nigga, hey. Big A, man. Come on, man. Nigga, I got to holler at Pimp. Uh, and Pimp. Pimp. Hey, get Woo! Me. Shout out to Buck. Shout out to Buck. Because a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened if this yeah. motherfucker Buck. He, 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 he took it. He definitely so took it. So, what? We in Miami. I got so many stories, bro. <laughs> we, in my, uh, we can do this shit all day. We oh, in Miami. Uh, fucking with Jesus. Mm. G, shout out to Jesus. Jesus is Shout out to Jesus, man. Jesus always, always fucking with me. Yeah, yeah. Jesus he said it out every time he was around, though. But uh, we in Miami fucking with Jesus. It's me, Buck, High C, okay. and Jesus jump in with us in the truck. It's just us in yeah. the driver. Yeah. Jesus got a show. Okay. It's at some club in Miami that's open up. You know what I'm saying? It's got trees and shit. And I don't know nothing names and I was just. You know, I'm getting high. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, mean, I, I see this shit vivid, nigga. Yeah. So we in that motherfucker. You know, him and Pimp had that issue. Yeah, yeah. I remember. He done brought Pimp out on stage. It's Pimp and Too Short right here. Pimp come out in a full mink fucking link. I mean, uh, mink. Full length mink. Yeah. Welcome to the floor. It's August. It's hot in the motherfucker. Woo! <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't bullshit. Woo! It's July, August, August, about August or something. I remember it, because we ain't having no fucking coats. Yeah. But that nigga had the mink on. I said, look at Pimp, man. I holler at Pimp, bro. Pimp was so genius. Pimp talked to me for about 10 minutes. Mm. Oh, God. Swear to God, bro. Because I used to, all, when I used to meet these now, I'm like, man, it's an honor, man. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. This is how I used to be. I wasn't on no sucker ass, jerky yeah, ass yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to yeah, yeah. downplay the older <laughs> niggas. Uh, it's an honor. Y'all niggas yeah, yeah. Wait, man, I love y'all niggas. You know what I mean? We talked for about 10 minutes. Too short sure right there had two bad bitches. Mm. I'm talking about this today. They did that like for real. Too short sure right there. Yeah, right. Bad we right there. We out here outside, but rock that show, bro. I'll never forget that shit, bro. I had so much fun, bro. That night. Skating through the years, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Authentic TV, man. We always get the exclusive. You feel what I'm saying? This is real heavy shit right here. You feel what I'm saying? So, we're going to go to one more commercial motherfucking break. We're going to play some more motherfucking building. We're going to be right back. You know what I'm saying? With Bubble Up. You know hey what I'm now. saying? 615 Bubble hey Up. Now. We will be right back. Stay tuned. Young Swear. I'm the type of nigga that'll kick in your door. Gonna bring your bridge, I'ma pass you the road. Waving guns away. Come, I was born in the drum. No father figure, all I had was my mama. mama. Came up, cash feel west side, yeah, the bricks. Off the porch, first rule talk. Never trust a bitch. What's up, girl? Oh. Wanna be one of them South niggas, huh? You yeah. like how we do that now? See us in the club, putting it down. Sipping Chris style, mixing with Zay. So you teach that stands for South.
Sales Sizzle. Mm. Uh, let me think, cause it's hard. Ooh, now nah, this week that I've worked with. with. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, oh, I think they ain't play nice Sales Sizzle. Ah, man, I'm just thinking about something in that man. Bar none. Shot the bar. CC, uh, producers. Damn, come on, shoot me some. Producers, let's go. Uh, like yeah. money, uh, greedy money. Greedy money, Vonix, KP, uh, KP, uh, Chris Kane, uh, Sense of Lee Head, uh, Sense. Mike G, uh, Mike G, motherfucking. Shit. Come on, my mind don't stop. Right, it's some uh, old man that they have to fuck with. We, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, mm. Shit, we high, man. We we high, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I hate them quick quick. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Y'all, okay. y'all, okay. okay. all y'all. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. man. I know I might let somebody out. I'm sorry, y'all. All, all right. right, let's go. All okay. right. Good. What was your best project to you? To me, uh, I say Wicked World. Wicked World. Yeah. So that's the last project. Nah, it ain't. Uh, High Love. Okay, High okay. Love. Okay, so. But Wicked World was close. But we was close. How I love I done that in nine days. Like I remember that. From the I mean, I remember you me. Mixing, mastering, writing all the songs, recording all the songs, getting the mixing, mastering nine days. And okay. then, you know, it had to go to getting pressed up and mm -hmm. this and that, distributing, ready, and shit like that. So, yeah, nine okay. days. Okay. Shit. Okay, one more. What is your best weed strand? What are all your time, favorite? Favorite all time. It was at Diesel. Like that New York did. The sound, the real sound. Ooh. God, I just <laughs> all of that shit. What? Hey, man, that real, oh, that real sound deal, that real New York deal, that real deal. Ooh. Oh, man, there wasn't no better weed in that. Damn. All time. Baby. Damn. All time. That's like deep. That's deep. All right, well, last one. Now, one more, one more, one more. Ooh. What is your top five of all time? Hey, rapper, top five all time. That's yeah. a good one. Uh, it's hard. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta give me arrows. See, you yeah, gotta give me arrows. No, no, it's hard, bro. No, because KP always asks this on Bill City videos. You know what I'm saying? But I had to go and ask you since you ain't been to Bill City videos. You know all right, so you said my favorite. Fuck it. I ain't gonna do no politically correct. Yeah, your top five. I'm all mine. time. Dead all time. time. Pop in now. Pop. I gotta put Jay in now. Okay. Jay Z. Okay. Soldier Slim in my mm. Slim! From what I was told, hey. Uh, it's hard, man. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I know Lil Wayne. I'm just talking music. I don't care about like, all, like, all this social media yeah. shit. I'm tired of all that, man. God damn. Uh, Back then, we didn't get to see nigga whole life. We just judged about the music. You I don't want to be in nigga life. So Lil Wayne is up there. Uh, One more? That's hard, bro. That's hard. That's hard. Who else? Who else out there that's like, uh, it's hard, bro. One more. I can't, I don't know, man. Come on, man. Just one. It's hard. You ain't even made it to this area yet. You ain't made it past. I mean, if I got to come I mean, in this area. If I'm coming to this area, I got to get future then. But, damn, it's hard. Bro. Is that making music or is that? Future, I love Future. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck what he do. I don't give a fuck what he do. I love that shit. I, I, future is different from I the love that music. But see, it's hard. See, I like a whole lot of them, this new era shit. That's hard. That's hard. Top five is too hard. Picking the all time. That's hard. It's no hard. face. I no need. Nas. I said, I'm no, saying no, face no, in there. No, 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 now, okay. Nas ain't in my top five. I love okay. Nas. But okay. I'm going to keep it. Okay. But I love face. That's what I'm saying. Face. See, I need an old era. Tilt. Jesus, like all that, man. It's a lot. But see, see, see Snoop. When you talk about like just, just, Cube. just barely miss. Nah, Snoop ain't in my top five. I, I, but I. Just throwing names out. Snoop, but I, I, I seen Snoop in West out, out, out in Cali one time. I was at a show. Uh, I'm in that bitch with Forty Glock now. Okay. <laughs> we on Melrose, nigga. Look, but we had the we stand at the wrist card. Buckler went up there with the old. I'm still, I'm young. Turn, turn. Going up. I don't know if I'm going to what I'm on. You know what I mean? Where y'all going at? Lead the gangsters. Four the block now. Yeah. Oh, the gang, man. Yeah. I'm going on top. They walk, we walk. We on mirror road. We go to some party, nigga. It's Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg. Mm. That bitch. Pat! Turn! The fuck up. 
this is when I first seen Snoop with the weed leaf microphone shit. This is way before I seen him on TV. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? The weed leaf microphone. I think Mike Tyson walked right past me. He been aggressive and crazy. He snatched some bitch. I seen that with my own eyes. Oh, oh man, you got a little bullet in diesel. What the fuck you mean? Yeah, he's crazy. I'm looking like, look, I'm looking at Mike. <laughs> Shout the mic. Damn it. I ain't gonna say he's fast, my bitch, but I say he'll do some aggressive shit. Yeah, Iron Mike. You know he turned into Iron Mike. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. So we see the top five is a little hard, because it's hard for me. Because I told, like, I told niggas, like, yo, my top five changes. Yeah, the slots hard. change. Because sometimes I used to say big, because I used to say pop. And I can't just say that. You know that. what I'm saying? And, and I can't say that. And that's how I, I was brainwashed as a child. That's what I'm saying. But we was dip dear mama, mama, nigga. Dear mama did yeah. something to me. See, that's why y'all got to get a little more relatable with y'all music, man. Yeah, bro. Exactly. It wasn't that popping, popping, popping shit that got me, nigga. I was a kid, nigga. Dear mama struck me. My mama was the junkie. Yeah. I was take my. Let me take it back. Lord forgive me, mama forgive me. I'm sorry, bro. I ain't mean to say that. But my mama was the smoker. Okay. I can say that. Yeah. I ain't mean to say no junkie, yeah. but yeah. my mama was the smoke of pop. Yeah. That was my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. nigga, I'm in the ghetto yeah. at that time. So, dear mama touched me in a way that no music had ever touched me yeah. at that point of my life. So, yeah. I was gone. That's why I'm a pop lover. It ain't no, just no, I wanted to be hard type of yeah. shit. Yeah. No shit like that. Dear mama, nigga. I was at, in, living in 7 Eleven, Lewis Street. 7 Eleven. Projects, nigga. Oh, we was on craps for real. 7 Eleven. We were really on crap. We didn't have shit. So, we on the box. Mm. I, I remember watching the TV. We had no, never had no cable, nigga. What Boozy said, I'm thugging outside. We ain't need cable. Yeah. Fuck you mean, but, uh, nigga, we was watching the box. You remember when the, the numbers popped up? Yeah. I couldn't wait. The pop number was like 236 or something. Three, 326 or some shit. You couldn't wait to see your number pop up, Ooh. nigga. What the goddamn. <laughs> For your video to play, yeah, real yeah. pride and shit. Shout out to my hood, nigga. Southside, Jason, come on, man. Shit, nigga. Hey, all that, nigga. Charles E. Come you on, know what I'm saying, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Lewis Street. Come on, yeah, you know I man. Up top. Come on, for sure. Keep coming. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to my nigga Spitter, who was yes, really sir. pushing his line. Spitter. For that. For that. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, up top shit. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Carrier Street. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying. All that come shit, on. man. But uh. Man, why y'all get me in this mode, man? Southside mode. I'm a little more drunk than I was. Southside mode, nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Grinning. 84 years on the south side. 507. You feel what I'm saying? This hey, is really the first history. time, listen. I know you didn't live in the project, but the first time I seen you, you was in the project. But I was always in the project. You was coming over. You was down my brother's. Ooh. You was in the, dry, in the, in the project, yeah. getting something, doing something. Yeah. You was yeah. hustling. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And then you know, like, I, that's when we changed numbers. <laughs> exactly. That's when I started coming. I, I was you. like, yo, yo, I got a studio. Yeah, And yeah. they played the song. Or you, I can't remember when you spit it. They played the song. And I was like, oh, you hard. And I was like, and this wasn't no cap shit. I told the nigga off rip, hit me up. I'm going to get you in the lab. And here we is. I hit that nigga up, got <laughs> that nigga, nigga, they couldn't get rid of me. Yeah! We turned up with that shit. Nigga, I put over for Cam Bill. Just let me say that. Just let me say that. Look me up, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say that. Mm. <laughs> Y'all gotta feel it. Just let me say that, man. Y'all gotta feel it. Put on for this shit, man. Y'all gotta feel it. Nigga, I ain't dropped the ball, nigga. I wasn't the toughest motherfucker or none of that old like y'all want to be a nigga, but nigga, I was authentic. I'm very authentic now. Mm. I was a little, 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 little less when I was younger because I was a trying to be and yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't try to be a motherfucking thing, nigga. Yes, I'm sir. Big. I don't care if you like me or not. Yeah. <laughs> authentic TV, sucker. Yeah, I love y'all. I love y'all. I got so much to talk about, man. I need a podcast. I got so many stories to tell y'all, man. I'm yeah. talking about, boy. Sheesh. This ain't enough time for me, bro. Yeah. I can do this shit. I can do it. We can do this shit a whole eight hour shit. And it was just a, and, and it's just real genuine shit at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm his big bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, he call me. And, I learned a lot of bitches. Fuck all that, man. Rock. No, you can't no, tell like, it like me. Like, 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 I learned okay, a lot tell of bitches. Tell, tell it. Like nigga, I this nigga, nigga, Pro Tools, all this shit. Ain't know nothing about this shit. I was in the projects, bro. My mama lived at the time, nigga. At, uh, five seventy eight, Louis. I mean, Charlie Davis. 
Yeah. 580 Charles E, nigga. Well, I yeah. don't live in that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know yeah. nothing about no Pro Tools and none of this nerd ass shit. But I was a nerd, though. But I was just a project nigga. And yeah. he was a nerd, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we connected. Nigga, this nigga put me up on Pro Tools and all this shit showing me how to record. And I ain't know nothing about this shit, bro. Yeah. Pro Tools? Yeah. Bro, you yeah. don't know about this. No, sir. You know, he got the MPC, nigga making it all beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm the like, nigga never went back to school. Hey, I'm like, oh my God. I'm a dropout. <laughs> you looking at a dropout. Smartest but, nigga hey, in the you class. You looking at a dropout that went to college. The smartest nigga in the class. <laughs> Drop you look out. at a drop out and got college education, man. You know what I'm saying? For music. And we still doing big shit right here, man. So, you know, don't yeah. let them never tell you what you can't do. Man, what? You know your capabilities, man. You know man, what? I, I, you know off your conversation. If you can hold a conversation with any kind of motherfucker, man, then then, then, then you, you, you there. But if yeah. you know you, you need to do some more study. You need to do some more talking. You need to do some more practicing. Because I'm yeah. a little lit right now. But, dog, that's a social drink. Yeah. But if I was at some business tables or something, that would be dumb. Oh yeah, we, 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 them, we, 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 I don't want no more drink. Yeah. I don't got nothing to do. This is the no flowers. More. This you is the pop saying? your shit yeah. shit. I ain't you got nothing to do no more, man. Yeah, the dude, I learned a lot from dudes, man. Even making beats. I don't want to lose my point. Like yeah. making beats from bro. Like how to promote. Yeah. Like even still in Nashville, it's probably ain't a nigga that know how to look at all this shit. This man been doing this shit 30 years and still hip up to, to, to the young niggas mm -hmm. level. Like he got swag. Look at this nigga. This nigga yeah. Nigga look good, healthy still, like that's what I say, all that super gang gang shit, that's cool, but be able to last. Man, Man the game is shit. about being able to last, bro. Like yeah. for real. Like I done all the pill popping and drugging Ooh. and shit. I done it. I'm the Ooh. nigga, I'm a I'm a prodigy, I'm a I'm a crack baby. Me. You know what I'm saying? Like I done all the drugging and shit, but <sighs> that shit ain't it, man. I got acid reflex and you know what I'm saying? I got different health problems and shit that yeah. ain't, ain't, ain't what's happening. I got to take a pill every day. That shit ain't come. And I'm a little nigga, so that shit come from a nigga doing all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. and it's cool and shit. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, now I'm doing better shit. I'm living way healthier. You know what I mean? But, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Last, my nigga. You got to last, bro. You want to be 50 <laughs> and still be able to pop your shit. You want to be 40 yeah, yeah. and still be able to pop your shit like homie. Yeah. You heard me, I'm 35, I mean, you know what I'm saying, but you know, you want to be goddamn better than me, you don't want to, you yeah, know, yeah. this shit real, man, all that little other shit is, is fabricated. It's real life, man, you know what I'm if saying? If they inspire you, it's fabricated. I love it. So let's get back into it. We got, now we at the hustle don't stop, mm -hmm. now, okay. now. You know, the Buck the World came out. You still around a little bit around the situation of cash real rankings or whatever. And then UNC take our own initiative to go ahead and, you know, push our independent line. Yeah. And I remember I recorded a lot of those songs in my studio too. Oh, up in the green room and shit. You know what I'm saying? Up in Nonesville, them late nights in Nonesville. You remember that shit? Yeah. But um, and, uh, me yeah. and C, we go uh, be a good no, no, I, Honestly, man, like, I don't, not not as far as all the recording, as far as like production and promotion and all that shit. That yeah. came out of, I just thought, man, damn it, Pop. There it is. Oh, that was my first official imprint was Hustle on Stop. You okay. know what I mean? And, and I funded all that. Yeah, I know that. I funded all that, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do it. You know, it was cool, you know. And I ain't had no problem doing it. You know what I mean? Not saying, you know. Like but you was on the move getting paid for features. I remember you in Detroit getting paid for features. I remember you yeah. moving around yeah, like, what you getting paid? C went to Detroit. D C went up there with him. He got money. He got money. Yeah. See, C might have made a little more than me because he got them and did a, 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 a sold some, a beat or some shit. Yeah, I think you told me that too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got C a grind. got their back door. Hey. Got a little oop. Back door. Got to see. Got to see. Got to see. Got to see. I told you, I mean, I've been inboxing your ass on Facebook. Yeah. You gonna come to this show? <laughs> um, yeah, I remember that. But y'all, I mean, I'm just saying, like, just to let you know. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all rapping Wait. something too. Nothing like, just since I'm on a rapper platform, yes, I ain't sir. rapping in a minute or nothing. But don't that hip hop? They don't even talk about it no more. That hip hop police shit is real, bro. Let them know. Real, bro. Like they, they, they ready. 
They know what <laughs> they watching you. They on your page. They got me a couple times. Yeah. Like, so I was wait before you said I was just in the so let me say what I wanted to say. So I remember being in the club, King of Clubs, little murder, high C on their way. I'm already in there on stage, buck there on the mic, talking shit. Lil Murray on his way, I can text Lil Murray, well, yeah, well, yeah, on way. Next out. thing you know, my nigga Buck get on the motherfucking uh, mic and say, my nigga Lil Murray just went to jail, man. He just caught him <laughs> in a scrap. Let me go get my little nigga out of jail, man. I gotta go. Oh, man. man, I said, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? But that was, I'm just saying. That, that, was, was, that was the biggest was turning crazy. point in my height. See? What was that? Man, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy weird to me, bro. Like, when it played back, like, we was at the height. Yeah, we waiting on you. We was at the height of, of the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to sit down for six months. Yeah. So that was that was the big turning point. I missed a lot. And it could have pushed some shit forward, too, for my yeah. career, too. But that shit, that's why I say that tough shit. Even though that situation wasn't even my fault. Yeah. But... That's why I be by myself too, man. A lot, man. You learn. You got you to, learn. You, you know, you, you got learn. to, you got to, you got to protect your, protect your energy, thug. I say thug, but I, you know, just yeah. also, I love that shit, but I ain't yeah. know y'all niggas were thug. Yeah. Protect your energy, man. You hear me? Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, I got no glasses. These niggas be faking. They be acting tough and shit. Yeah. Man, hey, man. Nigga, yeah. hey. Yeah. Hey. So Lil Murder went through a six month situation with that, then we come back with a new mind state, like, okay, now what? You know what I'm saying? You, you funded the whole hustle, don't stop yourself. And then you be pushing well, right after right after the house arrest shit was it was right to the right to the now, right to the follow. Like it was oh, okay, so right, right, Like that's why I tell you, I missed the whole lot of pop yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, six, six, Soon as I got out of the house arrest, nigga, we right to the Pablo and play my love, man. Woo. In the poppin', yeah, like man, you hear me? Y'all said me now? Uh, me? No, not me. Not the bread, <laughs> really? No, please, no. I was in the club, like when he said this shit on the mic. Right, hip hop only like, got me said, twice, man, dude. Man, I ain't man. lying, man. They got me another time. Yeah, they fucked me over right there. Though. They got me another time. Right, look, six of them, gang unit. Uh, Same shit, man. And I hope they leave me alone. I don't do nothing no way anyway no more. So yeah. gang unit, hip hop police, all just fucking same. Putting y'all mm. up on gang, man. They know what's all up with all the rappers. Nigga, they ramble my car, go through my car, trunks and shit, they act like they don't know me. They pulling out CDs, get to say in my song, nigga. Oh man. On my mind. They hollering out something like an outlaw. They singing the song, nigga. Mm. They holler, we know you. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm fuck me <laughs> up. And I'm like, huh? You know, I'm laughing. They like, yeah, we know you. Keep up with all you quote unquote some 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 like yeah. like I'm a top dog or some shit. Yeah. You was on the play. You was on. I was gonna lay my bitch up. You was gonna lay my bitch up, bro. That's why I tell y'all rappers, bro. This shit ain't what y'all think, y'all. Once you get clout. They're looking at you. And when I say clout, nigga, five, ten thousand followers. And you doing all that popping. They what they don't got nothing else to do. And what they this ain't job, bro. This ain't job. Man, they sung my song, nigga, to me. Mm. Nigga to me, nigga. And they planted something on me, nigga. I was on probation, nigga. I was gonna violate. I was gonna finish, I was gonna finish my probation. This had fell in the paper. They was gonna send me up the way. Nigga, I was finna finish my papers. Nigga, they plant something on me. This the same shit. Same in my name, all that. Like, they know me and shit. Yeah. I wasn't even smoking or nothing at this time. Yeah. So I was ready for this shit. Yeah. I went to court. The DA come hollering at me, woo woo woo, telling them what they finna give me. And then telling me, this is what threw me out. I was finna accept the, the little bullshit suspended sentence. Mm -hmm. But even though they had planted some, some two roaches in my on me, nigga, they had them in a plastic bag. Look what we found. Man, y'all better quit. Drug test. Listen, man. The DA got to the nigga telling me that if I I had got caught with weed so many times, she told me that if I get caught with 
any comment of that marijuana, I'm gonna be a repeat of uh, some shit, yeah. and it's a felony, automatic felony, whatever. I said, huh? Like if I get caught with a roach or blunt or anything, I'm like, hell no. So you know, I I, I, I snap. I ain't taking that shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I ain't. Woo, 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 woo. I ran her the shit down. How it went down, man? That lady, goddamn it. She said. She looked at me. She said. What she say? I don't remember what she said, but she said. I'm gonna drop this. She said I probably have to write some up for why I had to, why I did this. She said, but if you lying. You'll be back in here. I'm gonna, yeah, you'll I'm be gonna, back I'm here. I'm on some, some slick. I'm yeah, like, I ain't gonna see you back, so I'm gonna boom, Man, boom, bitch, you ain't gonna see me no more. I ain't gonna dumb it like that. Yeah, no. I just got caught up a few times, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that, 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 that part, that, 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 that hip hop, that rap shit bigger than what niggas think. That's all I want y'all to know, man. It ain't, you, you be at home and shit by your little self with your little bank account and your little small mind thinking. And you thinking everything's small, but they looking at the following you got and, and, and who you appeal to. Yeah. They ain't thinking that it's so small. Yeah, no. They thinking that you got influence. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they 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 they'd rather get rid of you because they know they can catch you up on some small shit that we can't even fight because you can't even get the proper lawyers. Yeah. Man, like, come you on, man. That, man. One thing my brother told me, man. Even at times when I ain't even, my first time going to jail. I had the money to make the bond. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, my nigga came and got me here, the rich ass nigga. I'm like, man, I ain't paying that nigga. This me. I'm a young nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. got it like that. I'm like, man, he's straight. You know what I'm saying? My brother, like, man, pay that man. You don't never know when you're going to need him again. Yeah, that's real. My first bond, 18, first time I went to jail. Woo. I paid that man. My brother told me, pay that man. So I always, with my street mentality, I always had that. Listen, if I was hustling, if I ain't got five, ten thousand, I don't need to be hustling, cause I'ma go to jail. Yeah. I'm going to jail. I always had bomb money, nigga. That's why niggas ain't see me back here. You hear me? Mm. I went to jail. Mm. I had bomb money, though, and a lawyer, some money to pay the lawyer to keep. I, I ain't even know how to fight cases. My nigga was so small. He was so small. He used to say, man, you. He said, y'all dumb ass don't even know how to fight a case. You gotta tell the lawyer what to fight for. He gonna go in there with his angle. Dummy, he said, dummy, the nigga, nigga said, dummy, you paying him. He worked for you. Hell yeah. He worked for you, man. Yo, bitch. Dummy, you know what I'm saying? Don't go, don't just let the, I'm so dumb. My dumb ass just, I, I used to say, I don't want to go to jail. Yeah. Keep well, me you out. Take whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I ain't even know how to fight the cases for real. Yeah. But if you tell, if you smart, it's a man. A lot of times, they don't even have a nigga. Like, I, got, I got schools on charges and shit. My nigga, like, you should have made him go out there and measure that shit. Mm. What you mean, nigga? Go out there, y'all go measure that and tell me that's a thousand feet away from that. Woo. I got a school zone charge at nigga, nigga by the mall. They said the mall had a kitty camp in it, nigga. They gave me a school zone drug charge for that, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga? On God, nigga. Yeah, it's a whole ass shit like that, but like, this shit. It's all about being smart. That's why I tell y'all, man, being, ain't nothing, ain't nothing cool about being no dummy. <laughs> no. <laughs> nothing cool about being a dummy, bro. Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with being a nigga that got some sense, man. Man, damn. Be around some smart niggas, man. Some smart gangsters. Some rich gangsters. Exactly. Yeah, that's gangster. All that poor ass shit. Nigga out here taking and stealing. Man, my brother used to say some real shit. He a hypocrite too, but he used to say some real <laughs> shit. That nigga used to say, man, why are supposed to get shot in their face? Yeah. Fuck you mean, nigga. You come rob me, you gonna get shot in your face, nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a hustler. Yeah. I ain't never better take. I done took. Yeah. I done took. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit come back way hard on you, yeah. nigga. I always been a hustler, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my thing, man. I'm a hustler. Yeah. I ain't gonna proclaim the rest of that. I can't really proclaim nothing else. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I ain't proclaiming to be no gangster. I done a lot of gangster shit, but I can't proclaim that. Hustle don't stop. Ah, a little murder. Bubble up, my bad. You know what I'm saying? They know Look, what the brand is, though. They know the is. brand, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep that going, but um, shit, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. You just drop some heavy facts on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, it's authentic TV, man. It's authentic, and it got to be authentic. Well, we're we're going to commercial. Shout out to my wife, man. Y'all see my ring, man. Shout out to the wife, man. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Shout out to my kids, too. Shout out to the kids, face. man. You know what I'm saying? Up. All the way. Um. Yeah, we're going to commercial break. We're going to be right back with Bubble Up. You know what I mean? And, uh, 
Shit, man, the hustle don't stop, man. Fucking news, breaking news. Yeah, my nigga C Good, Raw Staten, new motherfucking single. Shot the Lure Money Gang, B King. Yeah, it's crazy right now. This new single, breaking news. C Good, he back at it with Raw Staten. They going up. Tune in, Authentic TV. Yeah. The gang's by the rules, but you know it get deep. Some niggas just wicked. They'll rock you to sleep. Play the games by the rules, but you know we get deep. Some niggas just wicked. They'll rock you to sleep. Gotta watch how you step. You gotta watch how you move. Can't trust nothing or your ass on the news. You gotta watch how you step. You gotta watch how you move. It's a cold game, nigga. That's breaking yeah. news. Look, breaking news, breaking news. Gotta watch for them hoes. Yeah, she look good and she look fine. How you stressed out by the commode? That's why Dreezy ain't here. Cause he live with no fear. Nigga got hit without his him. I think his own cousin killed him. New show alert. Authentic TV presents Raising the Bar. AKA Live from the Booth. Hosted by Fast Money to Connect. A place where artists can come, play a couple of your videos, freestyle on the mic, and let the people know what you got new out here in the streets, what you got new uploaded online, Spotify title, Apple Music. Drop your links. Let's go. Authentic Originals Clothing. Authentic since 1980. We got a new batch in. We got the brand new Authentic Beanies. With the shirt to match, we got the new colorways on the AOs. We got brand new Haywood Lane. You know what I'm saying? Brand new A with the wings. You gotta tap in. DM right now, Authentic TV or Authentic Original since 1980 on IG. Clothing line going crazy right now. Tap in. The spring collection is on the way. Authentic. Niggas private hate me. I ain't never met him. I ain't never met Lost him. all my patience. But the money on schedule. Fly out in the fountain. Old hoes pouting. I turn shake the ounces, then the brick to a mountain. Turn the good girl bad. Oh yeah, we back. It's the fourth quarter. Bubble up. Fourth quarter, <laughs> fourth quarter nigga. You got me want to check my motherfucking bag. <laughs> See? We bet, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to MGM, shout out to all these motherfuckers we betting sites and shit. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in. But we here, man, and we gonna, you know, run down the rest of this timeline with Lil Murder, aka Bubble Up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we talked about the hustle don't stop. Mm -hmm. So now we getting into about 09, 10. We getting into about 10. We gonna turn the era to the 10. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, what, what? So what was we, what was we doing at ten, in ten, ten, eleven? I remember I dropped the South Coast Volume One. You had like three joints on there. I need a refill, the Brick House, uh, yeah. and something else. You know what I'm saying? Those was, was some records I think you just gave me on the Humble or whatever. Oh, I really? remember. But, uh, Which one you said again? It was uh, the Brick House. Brick House is hard. I put that on. Uh, I put that on something. I put that on Certified Hustle. Okay. So Certified Hustle. That was around the time I dropped Certified Hustle. So what was the one we had the mouth tape though? I'm done talking. Look, look, look at that. I, I done covered two. Uh oh. Two. We, we oh, doing it. I got that. They got Ooh. Cover, look, they want me to cash out. They look cash they, out. They trying to pay me already. Pay us. I got a game in this. That's a lockdown. Yeah. That's a lockdown right there. Look at that one. Look at that one. They already up. That is the 16. Ooh. It's a lock. It's another lock. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. What you was Certified you? Hustler. I'm okay, done talking. Certified Hustler was dope. Certified Hustler was dope. I'm done talking though. Who was that? So, uh, I'm done talking. The that tape was, was early. early. That was that, so, that was after. That, that was, was after. Was it, was, I'm okay. done talking was my first official mixture. Like, mob status, mob status was the. You know, getting started. Yeah. But, I'm done talking was like my first official mixtape. Mix I think I did that. Uh, they love you had one of my favorite joints on there. Nah, you had, you had, this is love. This is know? love was on there. Okay, and yeah, nah, that, uh, one of my favorite joints, that, uh, get it how you live. live. That's what's up. up. That's Stroke. what's up. It's B-Strokes. Shout out to B-Strokes. It's still one of my favorite songs. Mm. That's a bad motherfucker. I'm right? hustling. I'm thriving. Right yeah, I love that shit right there. Yeah, I do get it. Right there. 
So yeah, I'm done talking. I'm done talking with uh, you know, certified hustler. Certified. So that's about ten of them right there. What came out of that? What came out of them done talking? Certified hustler. Yep. No, I'm, I, I'm done talking was me and High C joint. Okay, hustle so on stop. Hustle on stop. Okay. Because I dropped. I'm done okay. talking on my birthday. I remember. Okay. In January is top of the year. So then we came with the hustle on stop. Okay. And then certified hustler. And that was the time that we did that joint with uh, two chains. Remember when nah, we did? it was after that. Me and that the that time, was twenty ten. Me and yeah, time. Me that, was that, that was twenty ten. That was twenty ten. Yeah. And um, that was twenty ten. And nah, uh, it was like twenty twelve. Nah, twelve was when I did that for the first time. For real, we do it with these numbers, my nigga. That's when you did time. that. That's when you did that. Uh, yeah. All the time. Huh? For real. Yeah, I look at my shit. money right. Remember that with one on the hook. Long. Yeah, you killed that shit. I've done too many drugs, y'all. That shit ain't But look, cool. though, for real. So, for the people know, though, we was in the studio. We was down in the A Buck for a couple of days. We was locked in the studio with Drummer Boy. Drummer we didn't get on. Well, guess what's the killer part? The drummer Boy wanted us to get on the He song. did! We need to sue 2 Chains' ass. Tell the fuck he gonna take a 2 Chains boy. You know you wasn't gonna take a little bit goddamn song. Nigga, ass Drummer Boy. That nigga said, man, shit, I, I want to hear them boys. Yeah, he said, we got we took and they, ain't, they ain't just sitting around today. Man, we took about, get what? Rocco, Rocco, Rocco nigga, that was just shit. Rocco was down there. there. Rocco, man, look, he caught me in the, in the hallway. Yeah, 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 he yeah, he yeah, caught yeah, me in the hallway. Yeah, He's yeah. like, man, which one you got going on, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah he gave me yeah. nothing there. Like, quit playing with me. Yeah, yeah that was trying to sign <laughs> around that motherfucker, man. Jazzy Faye was in there that day. Jazz and Faye was in that day. Outlaws was in that day. Outlaws. That was a heavy session. That was a crazy session. Shout out to the Outlaws. Shout out to the Laws, man. They, they did a record with me on the strength, man. Me too. I feel like that was my real Pac appreciation. Yeah, man. I feel like Pac gave me that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nigga, yeah. Pac gave me one with the Outlaws. Yeah. yeah, I love that. But I did some G shit for them niggas one time. Nigga, okay. We left Book House, nigga, goddamn, and they ain't had no weed. Yeah. Nigga, I, nigga, I lived in Antioch. Book lived in the fucking the. It exit it off out, 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 out. It don't got no more numbers. It out. ends. It's out. Nigga, 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 yeah. I went out yeah. with the Antioch. Nigga, nigga followed me to Antioch. Now I only got them niggas a zip. Woo. Shout out to the For the It might wasn't loud, loud, loud. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I gave it to them for the freaky. Yeah, y'all at least got something to smoke. Yeah. And followed the nigga back to where they were fucking going. The Make sure they were straight. Woo. Yeah. It's heavy. Nigga. It's heavy. Rest in peace to pop. Rest in peace to Fatal, you know what I'm saying? Shout to the laws, man. But yeah, man, we been heavy, man. We been heavy, you know, shit. I'm we just a cool guy, dude. Yeah. Guy wearing the glass. I'm just a cool yeah, motherfucker, dude. Yeah, don't let <laughs> fool you. Don't let the smooth taste it's cool fool shit, you. dude. I don't want, you know, I'm just cool hanging, dude. So if you do want to know about that song, it's called Check Me Out. It is on YouTube. Check me out. Um, I put that shit on something. Pull it out there. Yeah. I think we had to put it out as like a remix. Remix, yeah. Because the, like, the next time we saw him, I, I tested his temperature off rip. I was like, I know you took it off. I know you took it off. I know you took it off. See, it don't mean time. I mean, we done been in Atlanta. Yeah. God damn it. Shot the change, though. He's showing love. See, I'm going to tell you another story. I got so many, man. Y'all tell me if I need a podcast out there, y'all. All right. So we in Atlanta. And got in the book, man, went somewhere. And got them. We right here with two chains. We hop in the car too, Chain. Me and Hassi. Okay. Hassi got some stories to tell y'all too. He coming soon. But uh, ooh, two chains about an hour or two. Yeah. Two chains had to be up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Way long, 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 long time ago. You yeah. Know what I'm you know what I'm saying? And uh, nigga, we were two chain for a minute. But when two chain came to the to Nashville his first time, he did it. Somebody booked him. Some, I don't know if it was his first time. Somebody no, booked him. No, that center stage. And I didn't come that night. He fucked with him. And you know. said he played I was with him all night. You, you know what I'm saying? saying? He fucked with him. I missed he out that night. Shot me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he kept it. He kept it. He kept it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shot the chain. Chains, man. Man. He was still Titty Boy back then when we was fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Chain, though. Yeah. Niggas can't front on me if I if I get in front of them because I don't want nothing from you. 
Oh, I just want to show you some love, nigga. Nah, that's so, real. Nigga, I got my own bank, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm holding my own, so ain't yeah. no rap nigga can never front on me if I get in front of you. Yeah. You remember me, nigga. Yeah, that's I'm a hell of a nigga, too. You hear me? Yes, sir. Bubble up. So, boom. We slide in into more independent. This cab and shit here, but they the nigga trying to make it. While they playing, nigga, yeah. we heavy. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of nigga around here heavy, nigga. We tough, yeah. nigga. Yeah. While they playing. Yeah. This shit heavier than a nigga try to play us, you know what I mean? And that come with us not doing business. It is. Proper business. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? Like not knowing business. So anytime a nigga know they can get over on you, they look at you like, you're dumb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I tell you, nothing cool about being dumb. Y'all keep, y'all keep on be dumb and hard. Ain't nothing cool about that shit. Yeah. Nigga. Be smart, dummy. Smart dummy, you know Smart what I'm saying? Dummies. What cook up say, don't you wash your face with the same rag you wash your ass with? Ooh, no. Huh? Smart dummy. And <laughs> <laughs> <In> your feet. <laughs> right, lad. No, Everybody sure. think it's okay, they're smart. Yeah, hell no. Not until you can go to the outside and then look back in. That's when you know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, because when you in, you can't see the shit. You just trap. You just going by day by day doing what, what the next motherfucker told you to do. When you take take that step. As far as trap, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like music? Or Not even trap. I'm just talking about in life. When you just mm -hmm. take a second and you stop all the bullshit, all the rituals and all the Halloweens and all just the shit. And you get a chance to look at the world from the outside looking in. You be like, damn, I see what these motherfuckers want. <laughs> You know what I mean? They want to be told something. They they don't want to do no research. They, you can tell them anything. And they'll go with it. <laughs> they don't want to do no research. No, no, I was no, lazy. No, they like, right. shit, if it's it, then it's gone. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. white shit. He white. Yeah, shit. I ain't going to, I ain't, I ain't going to, uh, you know what I'm saying, research none of that. Uh, 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 my mama ate pork, I'm going to eat pork. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? I'm going to die this way. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you right like that. <laughs> You ride it like a motherfucker, dude. That's why I say my motherfucker won't be dumb. That's like, that shit cool, you hear me? That's why my motherfucker dying at 45. Yeah. Man, I want to live, man. I got my kids. This is, what, this, is, this is the thing why I want to live. I feel like if I if, if I could be around for my kids to be grown with yeah. the game that I can give them, it's up. with the shit that I done seen, uh, they going to be cold, homie. They gonna be cold that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So just being able to live for that, just to stay out of y'all way for that, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My oldest will be 13 this year, man. Yeah. Like I got too much more time to be out. My youngest ain't number two, nigga. Yeah. So I'm out of y'all way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I got to be around here for them, you know what I mean? So, mm. Mm. That tough guy shit is way out of my parade. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we will protect ourselves. We're gonna do that. By all costs. And you know, disrespect. Don't let that word disrespect make you feel like if a motherfucker just say something, oh, that's disrespect. Nah, bro. Disrespect is all in how you take it. Like, if you and your wife even know what y'all long, certain shit, your wife ain't even gonna let you do certain shit. Mm -hmm. Just cuz. Where you going? Nigga, Who you like, with? Nah, nah, <laughs> not not in that sense. I'm talking okay. about in the sense of like throwing it all away, feeling oh, like yeah. you disrespect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like disrespect, yeah. like strategy is key. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't all what is all cracked up. Big. Strategy you know what I mean? Key. Like when you got a lot to lose, like certain shit, you gotta let it go, dog. Like for real. Like even when you ain't got a lot to lose, you don't even know what you got to lose yet. Cause two years ago. I couldn't tell y'all I'm gonna be where I'm at now. Yeah. Ooh, I just said something. God damn! Ding. Hold up! Ding. I said, Ding. even when you ain't got a lot to lose, you don't know what you got to lose mm. yet. It's, it's too heavy. Because I couldn't tell you I was gonna be right here two years ago, and I'm I'm very blessed. Yes, sir. You hear me? So, yes, sir. So it's the power of the mind. Yeah. It, 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 it. Yeah. If you got any more questions, I'm gonna let you lead your show, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna spread a lot. It was a great day. We 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 had we let you come and pop your shit. This is what this was for. You Strong know, my yeah. ENT. I done got comfortable now. Yeah, you here. You popping your shit. But you know, we just was talking music and we just want 
we just want people to be caught up with the music that way they can go stream, you know, whatever. I got a lot of projects, After this, man. you got a lot of projects, man. You got a lot of turmoil, a lot of time, a lot of glory yeah. in in the career, you know what I'm saying? So um we just, like I said, we just give them a we just give them a motherfucking salute, man. Concrete jungle. I like concrete, concrete jungle. jungle. That was my shit. Bumping. That was my shit. By any means necessary. Honestly, that was one of my least favorite projects. Okay. By any means necessary. And I was sober as hell. I had just got over some felony papers at the time. And I've done it in like a month. And I had quit smoking for like two, three months. You see what I'm saying? Y'all didn't right write that. I was smoking again. Once again. For the whole time, I ain't shout out to my P.O. Mm. My nigga. Yeah. Uh, That's a big shot. I ain't gonna tell that story. So look, man, we're going to leave the rest of this shit for motherfucking volume two, part two of this motherfucking interview of, you know what I'm saying, 615 Bubble Up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, through all the journey, through all the shit, would you change it? Would you change it? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, nah, not at all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was, it was, it was yeah. a rough journey. Yeah. It was bumping, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, but it's a real man. Doesn't change because I don't like I said I don't need the only real thing I like att attention that much, right? To really, you know, what I'm saying be one change of them, it. to be one of them. Like, change, I think know. I think that shit would have if I would have got on back then I would have jackballed it because I wouldn't have been authentically myself. Me, me too. I was young and I would have been a trying to be a wanna be. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have been. You know what I mean? Like if I get on now, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a dog. Oh yeah. I'm a bad motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Because mentally, I won't compromise. I won't compromise yeah. myself or my morals or what I stand for, or what I believe in. I won't compromise none of that shit no more, you know what I mean? Like, so, and when I was younger, you know, I ain't know. You know, you follow yeah, 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 what yeah. you think, you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. or the leaders that you think are leaders, yeah. man, they follow us. motherfucking fly. Man, bro, when I tell you the older you get, you're going to look at the motherfucker like, man, that nigga Bitch ass nigga, man, he ain't nothing. I mean, yeah, nigga, you all these big old tough ass nigga, all that shit. Man, them niggas ain't. <laughs> I ain't, I'm just saying, I ain't just saying that, but I'm just saying a lot of people that you looked up to <coughs> when you was younger, and you thought, well, right, whether it be money, glam, glitter, right. bitches, or whatever, right. you thought when you younger, man, like, you have the, especially us ghetto children. Yeah. We have the wrong mentality of what to look up to. Yeah, we do. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and what to look up to that I tell my kids is, is, is knowledge and a smart motherfucker. Yeah. Not no dummy. Not no dumb shit, man. I know all the dumb shit, nigga. I ain't got no graduates in my family and shit. Like, like one or two motherfuckers graduated in my family, and I ain't one of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know, you so the smart that stuff. ain't what's up. Yeah, I'm we can't saying. get. Ain't nobody ain't need the, each other jobs. Yeah, and got yeah, enough yeah, knowledge yeah. to know how to file taxes and know how to do the real yeah, gangster yeah. shit. Yeah. That's gangster. Why y'all yeah. thinking all that dumb shit gangster? That shit all these white folks on is gangster. Yeah, this dumb shit we on is ignorance. That's what they would call it. We ain't getting rich off this shit. We ain't getting empowered off this shit. We ain't getting educated. Off they this call shit. them in the loop. We got them in the loop. On, they uh, they can't break out because they, they we got them in the loop. They don't want nothing. Shout out to getting his on. Out. I just came, it just came on my spirit. Come on. You know, I fuck with them. Any more shots, talk, cause that's what we get with it. Do your uh, shit. I'm lost. Nah, don't do me like that. Oh, don't do you like, like that? Hell nah, cause I, I, I we gotta do a big head. shot to the fam. To the fam. To the fam. To the fam. My kids, my kids. family, all my family, all my people. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, and then it's cause I, cause I've been chilling. Like I've been yeah. in a, you know, yeah, I you was you working and shit. Like, like, like the couple months before this, I was working and shit. So I was out of the loop. As far as dealing with people, you know what I'm saying? Was, yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of out of the loop mentally as far as... Yeah, uh, I ain't got that focus, that focus is enough. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, yeah, and I've been on my CMOS and shit, it's been clearing me. Oh, yeah! He on the CMOS and Bladder Rack and Bird Rock Roof. Get all motherfucking 100 and... Shout out to everybody. 106 y'all. Y'all know who y'all is, man. Anybody will ever play any kind of part in my, you know what I'm saying, success in life, because... At the end of the day, it's all a success, regardless of what the fuck you went through. Nigga, look at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I've been in a mission and everything. 
Yeah. Mm. I've been doing all, man. Build the mud. Yeah, yeah. Dead in the work part. Got to put out. Nigga in the projects. Clothes. You pulling up. You getting off the bus, nigga. Nigga, nigga. Ooh. Yeah. I can't go. Ooh, I can't yeah. go. Yeah. Ooh, I'm hey. Yeah. I'm Can we get the new prize? Hey, hey, Can we get the new prize? Hey, hey. Can we get the new prize? Man, I don't want to rap no more until I feel we like this is my business. We just need this. If it, if, the, if, the, if it ain't my business, if somebody yeah. can help me get some business going with that yeah. rap shit, yeah. and then we can see some we don't know like, returns, we don't know and, and, and like we ain't got time to play. We need to go to yeah, at least, least they, at least they at least they gonna have to give us some SBA loans or something. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. With this yeah. shit, we ain't yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I ain't playing. I can teach nigga how to get some money. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. I like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I do business. Yes, sir. Yeah, I do business all day. I spend money all day. That's business. Pay taxes all day. That's business. So I am a business. Y'all yeah. better learn business. Keep your receipts, young know I nigga. Mean? Yes, sir. What the fuck you talking about? Man, look, man. We at the end of this joint, man. Authentic TV, Authentic Talk, the podcast. 615, bubble up. You know hey, what I'm saying? Strong Mind Entertainment, strong man. Strong Mind ENT, yeah, man. Yeah, money told me to shout out all the shit that I got going on. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. My, uh, my lawn care service. Yes. Long care landscaping, the ground crew. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got to the ground crew. Right. Right. We ready, baby. We ready. We ready. See, it's coming up. We're going to get a full year. This going to be yeah. our first year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got started last year at the okay. end of the season, but we're going to get fully going this shit. We ready. The ground crew. Okay. Holler at me on my L studio, you know what I'm saying? Well, I can direct you to them. Okay. Uh, at 615 Little Murder. Yeah. For right now. I'm going to change that song. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't really feeling that shit. Yeah. I ain't murdering. But that was my 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 intro to the game was Young Murder. Mm -hmm. Y U N G. Y U N G. You know what I'm saying? That's how I came in. Was Y U N G. Why you in the game? That's what I came. It was an acronym. Why you in the game? And it was for me. I was coming to kill this shit. Yeah. Young Murder. So that's what I came up with. Then I, when I got around Buck, he was Young Buck. He was like, man, you need to be Young Little Murder. And I was like, damn, this do make sense. I'm a little nigga. Once I finally figured out I wasn't getting no goddamn bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah, you right. It do make sense. I mean, little Murph, though. I ain't going to argue with that on them. Yeah. So, you know, I ran with that. But that's how that came about. That's dope. That's dope. That's real. That's a real cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, back to what I'm talking about, my business and shit. Yes, sir. I finna uh I got some music out on little Spotify. I ain't mean, on a couple projects, but I'm gonna post all my shit. You know, back then nigga wasn't doing business. Like I tell y'all young niggas, quit sending your shit to live mixtapes and all this bullshit and not uploading it on the site they gonna pay ya. Fuck all that cheap ass, poor ass shit, man. Pay, pay me! Nigga, if you feel like my shit good enough, if this streaming shit done got it where you gonna get paid. So make sure you upload it to a site that you don't get. I got six, seven projects that I ain't uploaded on sites that's gonna get paid. I ain't capping. I'm telling y'all, dumb shit that a nigga need to be doing while you sitting around buying sacks of weed. I got shit that been paying me for since 2008, nigga. I get paid three, four times a year. I only got two of my projects up there. What's wrong with us, black folk? I mean, the shit like that. Yeah. I'll finish off the podcast. <laughs>